Hello, all of you. So, in previous lecture, we discussed about some intelligent transport system like GIS. Here, so in this lecture, we will discuss what is a GPS in ITS. So, basically, you know that full form of GPS and GIS. Clear? You already aware about that. What is the system and what is the purpose of that particular two system in a transportation? Clear? So, first of all. Uh, congestions, you know that congestions means traffic problems. Congestions on like highway, your street, or any transport system. So that productivity due to congestions, the productivity losses clear in the in the term of billions of dollars. Clear. Otherwise, it include property damage as well as uh, some injuries and. Also, the main problem increased air pollution. So that availability and accuracy of GPS offers increased efficiency and safety for vehicle. Clear. So in every vehicle right now, there are inbuilt uh, system that called GPS. Clear. So you already aware about that which uh, portion or which area have more traffic. Clear. So. You know that what is the purpose or what is the uh, benefits of GPS. So you can easily enable the automatic vehicle locations and as well as navigation system. Clear. So you know that by combining GPS position technology with the system, you can that can display geographic information and that uh, data or with. Uh, that system that data transmit to the display screen or computer clear or that due to that the new surface transportation is realized a graphic information system stores analyze display geographical reference information provided in large part by gps clear by the gps you can get all of the data and that data which will be used for uh, developing a new traffic system clear so that uh, gps stores analyze displays geographic rainfall refreshed information data so that by gps we uh, can easily track and forecast the uh, movement of freight 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 means goods clear so this is a uh, industrial revolution we can say that that for logistics uh, logistical revolutions and you know that by some website like Amazon Flipkart you can know uh, when will be the product will deliver clear so that GPS is very useful in day-to-day -day life and there are some system which is useful that vehicle tracking you know that by GPS, you can easily track the vehicle, clear, like in transportation or in logistic logist business, done. And is, it is also useful to navigate from one location to another location. And some, they are mobile app developers, they can hand you advanced GPS vehicle tracking system that include business actual tools required by your business and customer needs. Clear. Like Amazon, Flipkart, you know that every, there are some uh, tools which is very useful or like in Zomato. Then you can easily uh, get exact location clear of that particular your product or particular your food. As I said that you can easily locate your vehicles. ITS is an example of GPS can be applied in following three types of uh, field clear and that first one automatic vehicle location general fleet operation and dynamic route guidance so there are three fields of traffic engineering effectively due to its higher accuracy so there are generic GPS Added vehicle navigations. So, what type of uh, systems are there? Odometers, magnetic compass, field sensor, gyroscope, digital maps. So, there are total five types of aids vehicle navigation which are used in GPS. 
there are some benefits of global positioning system gps higher levels of safety and mobility you get it clear because you know that uh, each and every time of locations and their more accurate positions determining to provide greater passenger informations more effective monitoring to ensure schedule adherence creating a trans system more responsive to transport user needs and then battle location information with electronic maps to provide in vehicle navigation system increase efficiency and reduce cost in surveying roads because you know that uh, we get choose a road which has minimum traffic like we have a two options first one like a uh, Sindhu Bhavan Road and second one uh, Gotha Road. So in Gotha Road there are more traffic. So you can choose Sindhu Bhavan Road. So the road, uh, cost will be reduced and efficiency will be increased. So there are the uh, benefits of GPS. Then next one navigation system. You know that what is the meaning of navigation means to navigate means to uh, to show a direction. So there are study that focus on monitoring and controlling the movement of craft or vehicle. We can say that from one place to another. That called navigation system. Clear? So the field of navigation include four general categories. First one, land navigation, marine navigation, aeronautic navigation, and space navigation. So what is the land navigation? You know that meaning of land navigation. Then satellite navigation. So in satellite navigation is emerging satellite based system with commercial as well as strategic applications. You know that ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization is committed to provide satellite based navigation. Means in India, ISRO is committed to provide that type of system to Indian citizen. Clear? And also it is useful for civil aviation. Here you know that meanings of civil aviation. So by the ISRO or by the by the navigation system, the user requirement that positioning, navigation, and timing based on independent satellite navigation system. So to meet the demand of civil aviation, ISRO is working jointly with the AAI, means Airport Authority of India, is establishing GPS added geo augmented navigation system that called Google, here, which is used for airports or aircraft. And there are a second system that called IR and SS, here, Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System, means that is useful to user to positioning navigation and timing services. Here, this is a navigation system. Next one, so there are some applications of IR and SS. First one, terrestrial, aerial, and marine navigation we can easily obtain by this satellite. Then disaster management we can predict or we can predict disaster by this uh, satellite. Then vehicle tracking and fleet management, integration with mobile phones, precious timing, mapping and geodetic data capture. Terrestrial navigations and for hiker and travelers, visual voice navigations for drivers. So there are some applications. So there are some applications which are which we can use by the satellite of IR and SS. Clear. Then next one, terrestrial navigation. So in terrestrial navigation, which is applied to all techniques which are based on terrestrial sighting and measurement. So that radio navigation system. Which is not included in terrestrial navigation system. Here, remember that point radio navigation system, which is not included in this. So, in this uh, navigation, it is used by marines that use landmark as a reference points, clear, and ships stability as well as fuel consumption and ship speeds along with the tides and current. So, this is useful. For marine driver, clear. Which are the instrument for used for terrestrial navigation system? Odometer, which is used for distance measurement, then laser ranging, time of arrival pulses, 
and continuous waves then rf technics radar time for arrival pulses and continuous waves then sonar barometer radar altimeter doppler sensor accelerometer and gyroscope so these are instruments which are used for terrestrial navigation system clear